Hello, and welcome to AIM International's preparatory tutorials for the Information Certification Exam. I'm Steve Weissman, Principal Consultant at Holly Group, and a certified AIM training instructor in the realm of content process and information management. I'll be your guide as we review the exam's major domains of expertise and all you need to know to earn that passing grade. Today's subject is Business Process Management, a key part of this special certification which AIM created to support you as you solve your organization's existing information-related problems and plan for its future. For 60 years, AIM has been the leading nonprofit association helping users understand how to best manage documents, content, records, and process. Process management activities can be overwhelmingly complicated since they can touch so many people, departments, documents, and systems. So in an effort to simplify, Many who are engaged in the work focus on the individuals involved, charting process time and motion one cubicle at a time, lining them up to see what the big picture looks like and making improvements accordingly. But what gets missed here is the ability to manage processes by role and responsibility, not just by individual. This approach can lead to amazingly dramatic advances in efficiency and effectiveness, and it's the subject of today's module. Part of the Capture and Manage Knowledge Domain, one of six within the certification program, it covers managing by deadlines, managing by timestamps, and engaging in parallel as well as sequential processing. Let's start by differentiating between roles and responsibilities. Roles, of course, define the function people perform for their employers – marketing, accounting, technology management, etc. Generally speaking, they align with the organizational structure, and when they do, information managers say a word of thanks, or at least they should, because the enterprise's telephone and systems directories often are managed the same way through functions like Active Directory and LDAP, the Lightweight Directory Access Protocol. And where they exist, they are ready and waiting to be leveraged by any workflow or BPM system worth its salt. Responsibilities, on the other hand, involve the things they are accountable for getting done. Writing press releases, preparing the quarterly statements, supporting users, etc. Here, the delineations may not follow the org charters closely, since, for example, product marketers can live in the lines of business, while corporate marketers can occupy staff positions at headquarters, both at the same time. Understanding and applying roles and responsibilities as a routing tool is important because these attributes provide ready handles to use to steer business processes at a more macro level than a specific person. For example, even a fairly simple workflow system can be set up to track activities by due date and to send alerts to process participants and supervisors when a deadline is missed. But as you move up the spectrum of sophistication, the system can also automatically reroute the work to someone else who plays the same role or has the same responsibility. This same capability comes into play when the system is notified that someone's out on vacation or has left the organization, either directly by a user or the HR department, or automatically from changes made to the enterprise directory. Remember LDAP? Thus, processes don't have to be reprogrammed every time a person comes or goes. They can simply incorporate or exclude as necessary according to the rules that have been established. This automation can be extended by using timestamps as triggers of next steps, just as the deadline information is used in the example we just discussed. In this case, the logging of a completed step, say the approval of a brochure or the uploading of a new contract, would kick off the next round of activity without need of any human intervention. Where this gets interesting is when processes kick off other processes, as when receipt of an order from a catalog sends an automated thank you for your order message and sets the inventory picking work in motion. In most modern organizations, all of this is required to happen within a very short period of time, and the ability to track to the second when different processes begin and end is an effective management tool indeed. Never mind that it plays directly into making life just a little easier for those in the affected roles and or with the involved responsibility. The preceding slide raises yet another interesting benefit of routing by your roles and responsibility, namely the ability to foster and manage several processes at once, 
rather than to have to tend to them one at a time as human beings necessarily do. Being able to split the work onto parallel tracks, such as sending the automated thank you note while the pick list is generated and perhaps the shipping label prepared as well, clearly can slash a process timetable compared to having it be performed in sequence. This is one of the most dramatic, if obvious, advantages of using workflow and BPM. And the key to making it work is basing it on roles and responsibilities, not individuals. This module is perhaps one of the more straightforward of any in this certification program, and yet its content often is overlooked amid the complexities associated with managing processes. As noted at the outset, it is the ability to manage processes by role and responsibility, not just by individual, that permits dramatic advances in efficiency and effectiveness to be achieved, not in the least because of its support for managing by deadlines, managing by timestamps, and engaging in parallel as well as sequential processing. Now that you've completed this module, you may next wish to review the one relating business process management and business process reengineering. The material you have just reviewed is part of a broader program of study that prepares you to take the information certification exam. This proctor test consists of a hundred multiple choice questions and is delivered electronically by Prometric. You'll have two hours to complete it, and upon passing, you'll earn a professional certification that's valid for three years. For more information, please visit www.aim.org/certification. Thank you.